What's going on everybody? This is Al from PC Tech Review 101 coming back to you with another video. Today I'm going to make a quick tutorial for beginners of how to install MSI Afterburner on your computer. Also, lately MSI Afterburner is somewhat hidden and they have changed it on their website. So if you have troubles uh, finding it, this is also a way to show you how to find it because it is still there. It's just located in a little bit different location. So MSI Afterburner is a fantastic tool. Uh, to me, it's the number one tool to use if you're into gaming to monitor your temperatures, your clock speed, and your FPS. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first thing I, I recommend is to go to Google and type in WinRAR. And once you do so, you'll come up to this page, and it's this first option here. For you guys who don't know what WinRAR is, it's a it's an unzip file system that allows you to unzip a lot of these uh, software in order for you to install it. So definitely it, a must have, unless you already have it. But this is just for beginners. So let's see how it works. You type, you click on that, and you'll get to the screen here. Make sure it's the same kind of screen because there's other options out there on the Google screen you know if it's the right one when you get to this screen so in my case we're gonna go to English version 64 bit I'm sure by now everybody's computer is 64 bit so that's up to you whatever you choose depends on your system but I'm pretty sure that everybody's is 64 bit by now so you click on that save and this usually takes just a few seconds. It's a very quick to install. It's a very small file. And in my case, I have to use a password here, which is fine. You probably don't have to do that. Okay. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. You're done. That's gonna be your first step. Go ahead and just close this part out so you don't get confused or anything. Okay, so the next one is I'm going to open up another window and type in MSI Afterburner just like that, and the first option will come up. Now, this is what I was talking about. For you guys who are aware about MSI Afterburner and you haven't used it in a while, now you want to get it back or something, and you come to this, and usually it used to be you just click on this, and then... Uh, it brings it to their home page and everything and there'll be an option here for download but it's it's gone you see and uh, you know the f just recently when I was doing my new build and I was like what's going on where is it you know and it's not here anymore so so this is just to show you where it is now you just uh, go back to the main Google screen oh, we went too far Okay, and it's not here either, but it's this one, Afterburner MSI Korea. Don't get fooled by this Korea thing, but this is the right one. And you click on that, and uh, it'll bring you here. I don't know why it says that. As a matter of, and it even has the Korean letters. I, I don't understand what that's all about. But I guess their site is down or something, or they're just doing this for security purposes. But yeah, that's it. You're here, you just hit download and you click this first option MSI Afterburner, download Afterburner. Okay. Again, it's a very quick file to download. Then you open here. Uh, just close all these out. You just want to get to the screen at this point I like to just minimize and close everything and, and just mainly focus on this specific one file open here so when you get to this you just double click you get to this and double click again let it unzip and at this point you could just minimize that too oh again we have to in my case I have to put password that's fine I'll just close that out. I like to just close everything out so we just focus on the installation. So we'll just right here we hit OK. Next. Accept. Next. This is fine. Make sure both of those are checked off. It comes like that automatically. Hit next. 
then it'll automatically pick where to choose. I guess it's usually your C drive. You you definitely want to have this on your main drive. Hit next. Install. And this will take a little bit of time because it's going to do two installations. One for uh, Afterburner and, f and the other one is for the Rivia tool. You'll see that. Also, it's gonna download the DirectX um, software too for you, uh, in case you don't already have it. But either way, during the first installation, it will do that too. That'll take a little bit of time too, about a minute or so. Who knows? And of course, it depends on your computer. If it's fast, this will be a lot faster than installation. I'm using a, just a regular desktop at this point to make this video. Nope, oh, there it is. Yep, this is the second tool you need. You must have this. The River Tuner. They'll show you the FPS. Okay, same thing except next. Next again. Next install. Gotta have both of these installed, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, well that's installing. Yeah, at this point you could go ahead and close up all the files. Close that one. Close up these two. I'll we'll just leave these two on the bottom going. Okay, that's what I was talking about. It's going to install DirectX for you. That's also a must. Otherwise, again, it would not work. Either way, you're going to need it for gaming. Even though you still have it, it might just do that anyways. This is an older version. I think the DirectX 10 or something. Or 9. Whatever. Yeah, guys, and that's that's pretty much it. We're coming to towards the end here. Um, I hope this was helpful, and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me reach 1,000 subscribers. Also, stay tuned for another video that I'm going to be making of how to set up your MSI afterburner the right way, how to monitor your temperatures and your FPS count and all that stuff and your clock speeds. It's very easy. And, uh, you know, this is the first step to really to get the most performance out of your computer. Because without this, you really don't know what you're getting, you know, and what's wrong or if something is running, you know, too hot or you don't know the FPS count. You got to know these things. It's very important to get the most out of your computer. It doesn't matter if your computer is eight years old. Or you just came out, or you just bought it the other day, brand new. Definitely a must have. Yep, I'm just approaching the end of this. Almost there. And that's it, guys. Here it is. It's all finished. And I just take these off. Well, just do that and run it it'll come up the first time just to confirm there it is this is it this is the latest one the best one and here you have it guys enjoy thank you